Rambling Jack. I thought, well, this guy doesn't know me very well. There's no G in my name. It's an apostrophe, don't you? <laughs> I said, well, you don't have him yet, do you? I said, Jack, is that you? Boy, he caught on fast. I said, yeah, this is me. Where are you, Jack? I said, I'm somewhere in Nebraska, western Nebraska. Be there in a couple hours. He says, but Jack, it's 8 o'clock, and this place is full of people, and they paid to see you. What am I going to do? I thought, what a nice man, asking me what he's going. Most people would be telling me what to do. Time like that. I said, you got a microphone there in the office? Yeah. I said, well, put the microphone next to the telephone. I got my guitar right here in the phone booth. I'll play you a set. So I played a bunch of songs, and I could, I could hear the people clapping in the background. And uh, they were having a good time. And uh, I sang about five songs. And then I ran out of quarters. <laughs> I said, well, I'll see you soon. And I hung up the phone. But I didn't let Caesar drive after that. I drove. Because he was going a little too slow. We got there. It was about 3 o'clock in the morning. Alan Dameron was waiting up for me. He had been sleeping on a table. The place was closed. for that, but uh, it's too late now. It's okay. It's in the contract, but it's my fault. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd like to dedicate this song to the memory of Caesar. I want to 